All right, guys, so we got a couple traps done, I think four of them so far. But uh, uh, when you do this, you want to lower them in slow, and all you do is just wait for the trap to get the same temperature as the wax. And if you pull it out and the wax has a white tint to it, or the trap has a white tint to it, then you need to put it back in the, in the wax. Uh, when you pull it out, it should look wet, is how you need to look at it. So I'll show you here. This one's been in here uh, two or three minutes. But you see how that just looks wet coming out of there? That's what you're looking for uh, when you put the trap in there and it's ready to come back out. So it just looks wet. So I'll show you. I'll put another one in and then show you, dip it in and pull it back out and show you the white that you don't want. But this one's ready to be pulled out. The waxing part doesn't take very long. It, it's three or four minutes in there and it's ready to go. So I'll show you the uh, what you don't want here in a minute. All right, so I'll lower this in and get it down in there all the way and when I pull this out if you don't leave the trap in there long enough to for the trap to heat up you pull it out and it's white on there it's kind of hard to tell in the camera here but it's all white so that's not in there long enough so put it back in there until you get that nice shimmer of what looks like the trap is wet and once you hit that go ahead and pull it out take it into your yard or wherever and shake the hell out of it get all the excess wax off and I got them sitting outside here these are the ones that are done and uh, once they're uh, somewhat dry I'll bring them in that cardboard over here I'm going to lay them on and let them sit there until tomorrow or whenever. And then I'll put them back in my box here that I have for the traps. So.